Hi guys and welcome to Retrobeat. In today's episode we're going to be looking at one of my favourite subjects, homebrew gaming. Today homebrew gaming is on the ZX Spectrum. The ZX Spectrum scene uh, when it comes to homebrew is absolutely top notch and today I'm going to be looking at a game from a new company that I've never bought a game before. Uh, this company is called Chronosoft and the game is called Xenoblast. Now, this game um, is on the 128 and the Spectrum 48K, both versions on one tier. Um, Xenoblast was done by Tony Kingsmill, so I think this is one of the first games I've tried by him. So definitely looking forward to giving this a go. Um, as you can see by the front, guys, we're looking at a space shooter here. It's a vertical space shooter. Um, obviously, you can't see the screenshots on the back, but I'll pop a couple of screenshots in here now so you can have a quick look. And as we can see uh, on the inlay here, we, uh, we've got like a, a short story here, a bit of background to the game, and a couple of screenshots. Um, and then we've got uh, the guys who are responsible for bringing us this game. Uh, again, this comes on tape media absolutely beautiful purple tape there I must admit that's really cool I do like my uh, actual media rather than uh, rather than the emulator although we have got that as backup just in case but um, fingers crossed hoping for the best that the uh, that the trusty spectrum plus two can uh, can load this one up first time for us so without further ado guys let's get stuck into the game So guys, we are in. Um, you might be able to hear a bit of weather in the background. It's pretty minging up in Inverness today. Wind, rain, typical summer's day in the, in the Highlands. Lovely loading screen, loaded up well. Um, music is excellent, lovely. And here we go with Xeno Blast. For joystick controls, let's do it. Bit of speech there as well. Go. So, um, no in game music, but we've got some nice little uh, sound effects. The ship controls really well. Uh, I think that's yeah. nice and smooth scrolling. Bad boys and news. Graphics are nice. Monochrome gameplay area. Bit of colour to the to the left there. We've got our lives. We've got a score. Finger buttons hurt. Fire button fingers hurting already. Out of practice. Um, it's kind of uh, reminds me a little bit of like um. Bit of like Euridium sort of, but like forward going up the screen. Of course, Euridium is an absolute classic on the Commodore 64. It's pretty decent on the Spectrum as well. I enjoyed it on there. Oh, just managed to get away from him. So this is the first um, Chronosoft game that I bought. Um, it was six pounds plus um, plus a bit of postage. Oh, my arse was nipping there. I nearly said I thought I was going to die there, guys. Bit of a lull there in the aliens. Pretty similar aliens all so far. Um, 
I don't know what that does. <laughs> Am I meant to get to there, do you think? Oh, shit. <laughs> or do we have to kill this thing first? Right, God, let's try that again. And I think we've made it past the first level, guys. Wow, we are on area two. And um, yeah, colours changed to a nice bright yellow in the second area. Ah, oh, bollocks. One of the problems there is that um, trying to differentiate between the aliens and the backdrop, they do kind of blend into each other. So they come, come at you quite unexpected sometimes. You've got to be really aware of what's going on. But yeah, I like I like the game. Six quid, guys. You can't go wrong. You can't beat new games. This is a bit, it looks a bit difficult, but we're around. I'm not sure what these um, pickups do. I think they might be uh, bombs or spa. Oh, there we go. Game over, guys. Nice music there as well. Love that loading screen. Lovely and colourful. Very Spectrum esque. Right, let's have another go. So, um, Spaces Fire S. Is that S? S is bomb. Right, maybe we should um, have a go at that. Okay, let's do it. So much better at firing with my right thumb, but then that means using my left hand to try and steer where I'm going, which isn't great. <laughs> I miss my joypad. I'm using a cruiser joystick today. I do enjoy the, uh, the cruiser, but it's one of the few Spectrum specific joysticks I've got. Let's have that. Uh, let's go this way, I think. Silence as I'm concentrating what I'm doing. <laughs> Should we want to go this way? Do you think? Yeah, let's go on these bad boys. Come on, you. Whoa! Nearly. Nearly. Oh, shit. <laughs> What that thing is there? Just different types of aliens, I think. Ah, go away with that one. I think this is the end of level guy up here, isn't it? Not far now. Yeah, here we go. Let's see if S does anything. Nope, S does not. So let's just get out of here. And that is our exit to area two. Right, so I think it must be space bar for your bomb when you're using a joystick. Probably tells you all this in the controls, but you know me. Oh, I should really start reading them. Oh, please don't start me off there. Fucking hell. <laughs> Here. Can't get them. Let you wait until they fuck off. Let's pick that up. Can't see anywhere where it tells you how many bombs that you've got. Solid game though. Definitely very playable. I don't know if we blow that up. No. Oh shit, I missed that uh, pick up there. So we're going through the middle. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> I can't even see where the exit thing is. Where is it? Fuck, I'm gonna have to blow this thing up. Let's just use all me. No, I haven't got any bombs, so. Oh, guys, I literally can't see where I need to go. That bit is so hard. 
Oh, and that's game over. That's game over. I'm not really sure where I've got to go on that, guys. If you've played this before, please leave a comment down below and uh, let us know what I'm meant to do at the end there because uh, I think I'm stuck. But overall, enjoyable game. So, guys, what did you think about Xenoblast on the ZX Spectrum? My thoughts are this it's a solid game. I don't mean uh, hard, I mean um, it's got good graphics, uh, the playability is really good. Um, the control, it's smooth, um, there is no in-game music um, and I'm sure this is the 1 to 8 version that I'm playing, you can probably hear the music in the background there, um, in between your game and the, the music is excellent. Um, not sure where I'm meant to go at the end of that uh, second level, there was like um, on the end of the first level there was like a, like a little doorway where you could see that you were meant to go, so maybe on that second one you do have to destroy um, that end of level boss, so um, uh, I think I've got my work cut out there, especially with my gaming ability. But overall, guys, I would definitely say that um, Chronosoft is, uh, yeah, they look like they have some fantastic games on offer. I did have a look at the website, uh, this is a quick picture of the website, and you can see um, that they have got a lot of games available there, guys. Um, obviously, I'll be putting the link in the description below um, so you can maybe go along and check them out. Um, also, um, all the games that are featured on these videos, um, I'll be always posting them to the 8-Bit uh, Homebrew group on Facebook. Uh, there's also a link in the description below for that as well. So guys, uh, that's all for me for today. Um, I certainly am not going to be enjoying going outside in the uh, in the horrible rain and oh, it's just minging out there. So I think I'm gonna um, I think I'm gonna do a bit of PlayStation 4 gaming this afternoon. That's gonna be me. Anyway, until next time guys, goodbye.